Okay, so you sit quietly. If you're sitting on the floor, sit, you know, with either your legs crossed, but be comfortable. If you're sitting in a chair like I'm sitting, then sit with your feet grounded and your lap should be, your hand should be in your lap. But in, if proper meditation, don't slouch, sit with back relatively erect, be comfortable, be relaxed, close your eyes, and for a minute or so, don't do anything. You'll see, thoughts will start to come by themselves. Now, as easily as those thoughts come, just think of the mantra. Don't force it. It's there. So there will be thoughts and there will be mantra at the same time. And as you start to think the mantra, and you, even you can have the attitude that you're not reciting the mantra, you're remembering the mantra or you're listening to the mantra. Just an inner attitude. So you're not too focused on it. Because if you're too focused on anything, is surface, it's mental. So now what happens? Thoughts are coming, mantras coming, thoughts are coming, mantras coming. Everything starts to get a little uncertain. You're getting there just by the fact that things are getting uncertain. Thoughts are random, mantra is random, there's a proliferation of uncertainty. Thoughts become vague, but also mantra becomes vague. And if we do it long enough, 20, 30 minutes, then there are periods where mantra and thought cancel themselves each out. Okay? Which means there is no mantra and there is no thought. And when there is no mantra and there is no thought, that's called pure consciousness. That's the field of infinite possibilities. That's the field of pure potentiality, that's the field of intention orchestrating its own fulfillment, that's the field of pure creativity, that's the field of observer effect, everything that we discussed that morning, that's right in that gap. Okay, But you cannot get into the gap by wanting to get into the gap or thinking I must get into the gap because wanting to get into the gap is also a thought. Also, you cannot get rid of your thoughts by saying, I have to get rid of my thoughts, because that's a thought. Okay? It's a very simple mechanical understanding that you don't force anything. Thoughts, mantra, thoughts, mantra, there you go. Okay, there'll be little dips. And how will you know there are little dips? You won't know where you are. Okay. You will have no sensation, you will experience no sound, and you will have no thought. Because sensation, sound, all this is thought. Okay. Everything is thought. So when you have, you experience nothing. You're non-local. You have, you don't know where you are. You don't have no location. But as you start to experience this, it will not be a nothingness. It will be a wakefulness. And you know, we'll talk about higher states of consciousness. It'll be so wakeful that you will experience it in waking, in dreaming, in sleeping. It'll never leave you.